hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel so this morning i made all of the flowers that we had built last week yesterday was a holiday in the united states and so literally all the work that i did was just putting the string on the bamboo sticks a bunch of them so then i can do all these flowers today and they look so good. It's so big. And I also started making these light purple roses and I think they turned out fabulous. Also, if you didn't know, we have a launch tomorrow. It's so weird saying that because it feels like Monday even though we had a holiday. And I just can't believe that tomorrow is launch day. I still have not announced it on Instagram yet. I kind of just plan to do that tonight i think because i want to make sure i had all the flowers done and then i do want to make some greenery today too uh yeah youtube was the first to know i am really excited about it and everyone is commenting on that video and they're super excited about it so i can't wait for flowers to be back in stock because they are my number one best seller on my website and i'm kind of hoping these all don't sell out i know you might not hear that a lot from small business owners but if you didn't know, I do markets and we actually have one coming up in just a couple weeks and flowers take me a long time. This took me about three weeks to make as well as all of these ones in this bin. And so I'm kind of like, I hope that they do well, but I'm also kind of like, mm, I hope that they don't sell out because then that's a little bit less work that I have to do for craft fairs. But I will be working on them no matter what because I feel like at markets these are going to be a hit this year so I still have a lot to do for market prep but this is my launch prep. So just on the agenda today I just want to start making some greenery and then in about five ish hours I'm going to go get my nails redone because they are very very grown out and then when I come back after getting my nails done, I'll take photos of all of the new flowers. So yeah, I've just been busy at work this morning, crocheting and putting these all together. I believe as of right now, we have, we have five new flowers launching tomorrow and then the rest are restocks. So I'll just go over them quickly with you guys. We have the blue forget me not, the lavender rose, salmon and light teal daisies, and then the dark purple tulips. And then today we're working on greenery. I forgot to mention this earlier, but today is Tuesday, May 28th, and it's currently 12.34. So I'm gonna go make myself some lunch really quick, and then we're gonna get going on making this greenery. Okay, so I was gonna videotape myself making this, but it was my first time ever crocheting this greenery, and I think it turned out really good. I love it. I think it looks great and just how I wanted it to. Look at it. It's eucalyptus. I think it's just so pretty. And the leaves, like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's kind of fun. But I finished this. I think it took me about an hour to make, I want to say. So they do take a bit of time. And it's not the same green that I use for, like, the bamboo part or the leaves on the roses but I think it goes so well with them and just imagine like a full bouquet with the greenery I think it's gonna look so good it's not like perfect by any means I did miss like a tiny tiny part of the bamboo right there if you can see it so I will be keeping this one for myself because it is the first one that I have made and I will just get going on making some more. I have to make like the circles first and there's three different sizes and then put it all together. So I'm just gonna go ahead, crank out a bunch of the small, medium and larges and then we'll put them together. More than likely when I get back from getting my nails done.
so I wasn't sure if I was gonna film for the rest of the night, but I got home around seven o'clock and it's currently 10, 11. Here are the nails. I love the color and I'm just really into the pastels right now. But before I left, I finished up all of the little ones and then the medium size. And right now I've just been working on the bigger ones. I didn't end up getting any like pictures of all of the flowers. Well, like of the big basket I did but none of like the individual flowers so that's a tomorrow thing of course we're leaving that for launch day but that's okay I just want to try and get as much done as I can before launch like crochet wise so but I'm gonna go ahead and start putting together the eucalyptus of what I have and then if I need to crochet more I totally will I want to have at least I think eight of the eucalyptus done I don't know how many I'll be able to actually get done though I also just don't know how they're gonna do so that's just the goal for tonight is to get at least eight done and then tomorrow we are actually having our first uh, small business era patreon zoom work session at 11 and I'm really excited for it and I cannot wait so during that work session I can also work on these two so I'm not in like a huge rush to finish this tonight but I'm gonna be up for another couple hours because I am a night owl and I don't go to bed early so let's get working on these eucalyptus morning you guys and happy wednesday aka launch day i am so excited about tonight i am just hoping that it goes really well i mean again if it doesn't that's okay because then we have stock for markets but i am just working on some more eucalyptus and i decided to tweak it a bit so on this one it got a little bit smushed but on this one as you can see there is four total of the little ones and then eight total of the medium and eight total of the big ones and so on this one there's four little ones eight medium ones and then six of the big ones and I think I like this look a little bit better. It's more like open instead of so smushed together. And so I'm gonna make them this way instead of this way. Plus it'll save me some time because then I'm able to crank out even more. But honestly last night I literally got one done after talking with you guys and then I went to bed because I was exhausted. Also, I just wanna say I do wear other clothes. I just love these shirts that I always wear in my videos. They're comfy and I swear that they are washed between videos. <laughs> but in about an hour, we have our first patron Zoom meeting, which I am excited about and I cannot wait. I'm gonna be working on the eucalyptus while we talk and chit chat. I feel like that first one is always gonna be a little bit awkward but again I'm excited about it so in the meantime I'm just gonna keep working on the eucalyptus and then 
do our Zoom meeting and I will catch up with you guys soon. had our first work zoom sesh together for my small business era patrons and it went so good I was so pleased with how it went and I was a bit nervous that no one was gonna join just because it's 11 o'clock on a Wednesday but I was so happy when Kate joined and then a little bit later Kate L ended up joining as well and we just talked about like what our businesses are and we just talked about the most randomest things it was so much fun being able to just talk with people for 40 minutes and i really enjoyed it and i hope my patrons did as well but now i'm just gonna keep crocheting eucalyptus leaves and put those together and later on i need to take photos of all of the new flowers that are coming and upload those onto my website to prepare for lunch tonight and then i also need to make the sms campaigns so we have a lot to do today and it's going to be a busy day so but i'm excited and i just cannot wait for tonight <music> away from patreon launch and you may have seen me working a little bit on these now I decided to also drop like a new greenery besides the eucalyptus these are kind of like the leaves except there's only three obviously and um I noticed that with the leaves so like they're still doing great like don't get me wrong um but like they're a little bit harder to put in a um uh, like a jar or something with the flowers so I decided to make these and I was able to kind of rapid fire them uh crochet them and stuff and so I have about five of these ones done but you know what's crazy so I was putting all of the inventory in I just like to write it down that's just me um we finished 205 flowers and leaves like that's insane um i think last time i restocked flowers i only got 100 on and i will be shocked if these sell out in the next couple days um obviously if they don't like i'm still happy because then i have some for markets next month but i will be in shock you guys will not hear from me for a couple days because i will just be crying in my bed and completely shocked by how well they did I mean no matter how well it goes I'll still probably cry in my bed let's be honest but I just still think it's kind of insane how many I end up getting done if you think about it we technically worked on crochet flowers I want to say for a total of like two weeks like I was working on them on and off but if you put all the days in the times kind of 
the length of time that I worked on them. It's about two weeks. Like, that's crazy. Obviously, I worked on them for three weeks, though, on and off, and one full week of just crocheting them and then these past couple days. But, oh my gosh, I still can't believe I made all that. Also, someone commented on my lightest video, like how does your wrist or hand uh, not get tired after 12 hours of crocheting every single day? And honestly, it does hurt. Um, but I always do like exercises with it, as stupid as that sounds. But I go like this and I just exercise it, I massage it. Um, and I just gotten really used to crocheting a lot because I do it constantly because I absolutely love it. Like I bring my stuff to the lake, but I'm really excited. We got the email and SMS campaign done, ready to go. Website is ready to go. And now all I really need to do is bring these downstairs. Um, I can't decide if I, hi Oreo, I can't decide if I want to put them in the white bins just because there's so many and not a lot's going to fit in those white bins, but I could still put them up there just to like showcase them and stuff. So I think I'm going to do that and then it should be time for Patreon launch, which I am super excited about. Oh, speaking of Patreons, I was going to end this, but um, we got two more new Patreons to our Small Business Era membership, and those happen to be Ash Nicole Co. and Karen Kroggle. Thank you guys so much for joining the Patreons. I hope you guys enjoy your time in this little community that we are building, and I can't wait to do some more things with the Patreons. Alright, so after the Patreon launch, because I've talked way too long, um, we have about five minutes left. I am going to bring these downstairs afterwards because I just want to make sure everything is running correctly and everything's going good. So I will more than likely just see you guys at public launch. Okay guys, we are officially one minute until launch and we actually got a Patreon order. This order was for Ashley. She got a pink rose, yellow tulip, white daisy, blue forget-me-not, light purple rose, a eucalyptus leaf, and a light leaf. Those were like the new ones that I literally just made. All right, now it's launch time. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the password and I'm going to post on Instagram letting everyone know that the launch is officially live and I can't wait to see what everyone gets. I hope they get the goodies that they want considering I made 205 crocheted flowers, which is still insane to me that I did all that. Okay, so I just posted on Instagram and we're currently at 16 total visitors so far and it just keeps on climbing, which is absolutely insane. So the website is obviously working. I was literally just about to go check it, but it's working clearly. We got an order. Okay, so this one is from Carlota. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And they got two dark lavender flowers. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're currently at 19 total visitors right now. We're now at 24 total visitors. We currently have four active carts and one checking out. Okay, so after I got home from picking up dinner, I ended up doing a little bit of wedding stuff because if you didn't know, I'm actually getting married this year at the end of September and our wedding invites just came in today. So I was doing some of that writing the addresses down for everyone, of course, who's invited. So it is currently 1017. It is a bit later, but I'm hoping that this might actually be a good time to go live on TikTok just to see if like time is something for lives and like hopefully they'll push it out a little bit more because people are in bed scrolling sort of thing. So first off, I'm gonna package a couple orders with you guys and then I'll go live. I also forgot to mention that in total so far for launch day, we have gotten 10 orders, which is pretty incredible. I'm very, very happy with how this launch has gone. And I always know I'm not that business that gets tons of orders right away at launch. I always get orders throughout the night or the next couple days so overall i'm just happy with how it went okay so this first order is for ashley they got the salmon daisy flower and a dark lavender
Here's what that bouquet looks like. Adding in a sticker sheet. Add in a package on YouTube sticker. And this is going out to Ashley. All right, next one is for Bailey. Bailey is actually a small business owner. She also makes YouTube videos and she has a lot of subscribers and she actually featured one of my packages that she ordered from me in her video which i am so grateful for and if you are coming from one of her videos please 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 comment down below that you came from one of hers because truly like i love when other small businesses support one another and are willing to share other small business owners and so this actually meant a lot to me that she ordered a second time and again it's crochet stuff so i cannot wait for her to get this she got two eucalyptus also side note if you get eucalyptus and it's kind of like this just push them down then they'll stay down and stay perfect for you a pink forget-me-not pink tulip a yellow tulip two leaves and a sunflower Here's what that bouquet looks like. I'm gonna add in a Manny the Brain sticker because I know she already has a sticker sheet. And of course, adding a package on YouTube sticker. Going out to Bailey. Next one is going out to Yen. I got a light blue daisy, a white daisy, a salmon daisy, and a pink daisy. They also got a light lavender, dark lavender, and a leaf. Here's what that bouquet looks like. Adding a sticker sheet. And a package on YouTube sticker. Going out to Yen. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go live and package up a few more. We'll see how that goes. If I'm not really feeling it, I'll hop off and finish up packaging them with you guys. I just got a TikTok live. I think I was on there for about 30-ish minutes, I wanna say. We did get one order from going live and this is what the stack is looking like. Here's Susie next to it, giving you guys the side eye. What do you think, Sue? What do you think? Okay, but here is the stack of them. Susie, what do you think? Huh? Are you thinking more toys? But we did end up actually selling out of the leaves. If you guys don't remember that from a bit earlier today, I decided to crochet some leaves as like another thing to put into this launch. And it was kind of just like a last minute sort of thing. And I'm glad I did. I mean, I only made five of them, but I'm kind of surprised that they did as well as they did, which is always such a good thing because like some products will surprise you the most. But we only have one sunflower left. Candace actually bought six of them. And I believe I made about 15 of them, but she bought six of them on that live. And so now I only have one left, but pretty much every other flower is still in stock. I have one of the blue forget-me-nots and two lavender left. But other than that, everything else is still in stock at this moment in time. But I'm gonna head off to bed because I'm actually exhausted. And it's only 11 o'clock, which is kind of surprising. So maybe I will get up earlier than I normally do and get working on some more crochet stuff. There's some things that I want to crochet that will be new. So last week I was talking about this hanging thing uh, that you can put in your car. And so I think that's, I'm oh, sorry, Susie. I think that's tomorrow's task. And then there's a couple other flowers that I want to test out and see what they look like. See if I like them, how long they take, all that good stuff. So tomorrow's gonna be another full crochet day, but it'll be like all new stuff that we haven't crocheted with each other before. Can you say goodnight, Susie? 
Susie, can you say goodnight? <laughs> Good night, guys. Good morning, you guys, and happy Thursday. This morning, I woke up to two more orders with some launch items in them, and now the red roses are officially sold out as well. But let's go downstairs and package up some orders. Alrighty, this order is for Kelly from Great Britain, and she got six of the crochet rose flowers. She also got the World Needs You Car Freshener and the 20 ounce Kindness Club Glass. And here's what that bouquet looks like. Add in a sticker sheet. in a package on YouTube sticker. Going out to Kelly. All right, last one is for Megan. Megan got the Metafloral sticker, crochet eucalyptus leaf, pink forget-me-not, our last sunflower, and a dark lavender. Here's what that bouquet looks like. I need a sticker sheet. And a package on YouTube sticker. But not to Megan. Alrighty, I'm gonna drop these off a little bit later today because it's currently pouring rain out and I don't feel like going outside. So instead, let's go upstairs and let's finally start working on that little project from last week that I wanted to start. Okay, for the past couple weeks, I have been wanting to make a pot hair, if you know what I mean. I'll put up a couple pictures of some examples, um, but I've been wanting to make one so bad because I want to make like some small ones to put in your car and like some bigger ones to hang up in your room. And I, this is like the perfect time to do it because now I don't really have anything else to do this week besides doing some fun little projects. So I'm not gonna vlog me doing the entire thing just cause it's my first time making one and, but I'll like, check in with you guys here and there on all the progress. I just finished the little pot, like the little hair thing. Also, I know I can't see my NGs, okay? Bear with me. Um, but it's like, it's so cute. I love it. It's so little. Oh my gosh. And like, I could do different colors of the pots. But it's kind of hard because I've never really crocheted with, with the 2.5 hook and so it's some adjustment to getting used to it but I'm so excited. I think now we're going to be doing the dirt part and then the leaf part. Alrighty, so I finished one strand of leaves. I have to make, I believe it's three more if I'm correct, but it'll be like this, you know what I mean? Like. I'm so excited about this, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's gonna look so good. Okay, I'll come back when I have the rest of these ones made. Okay, so I ended up making three, and one of them has only two on it, and then two of them have three on it, and I kind of love the way it looks. And then I just attached it to the dirt and put some stuffing into the pot. And now all I have to do is just sew this on. Obviously it'll look a little bit better. And then we have a little hanging pot planned. It's so cute, I'm so excited. Okay, you know what? It didn't turn out as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, is it perfect? No, but she's adorable. 
and it was my first one and I think I want to try and make another one but instead of using the 2.5 hook I'm going to use my 3 because I just feel like it's going to be a little bit easier for me personally to do that and I think next time I'm not going to chain these I'm just going to kind of put them inside and possibly make like a couple more like at least one more yeah okay so like if it was like this I feel like that'd be cuter but it's not bad for my first one we all start somewhere and so I am going to just get going on that next one with the three millimeter hook and then with the modifications that I want to do and I'll come back and show you guys when I'm done. Happy Friday you guys. It is a bit later in the morning because this morning I actually had a doctor's appointment and I just finished up the potted plant as well right now and I love it you guys. I'm so excited about it and are you guys ready? Here she is. She looks stunning. I I'm in love with how this turned out and I think it's gonna be so cute in someone's car on the rearview mirror or even in like a room hanging up like it's adorable you guys I would show you the side by side of them both like the one we made before and then this one but the one we made before um, got a little bit of a makeover so I currently don't have that one with me but it turned out really good you guys I'm really happy with how it turned out and I plan on making a bunch of these this weekend because surprisingly it was pretty easy and quick to make this. So the difference between the last one and this one is that the last one I used the 2.5 millimeter hook and then for this one I actually used my 4 millimeter hook and then I ended up doing five of these vines and it and two of them only have uh three leaves on them and then three of them have four leaves so that's what kind of gives it the uh, staggered look. I think this is absolutely adorable. It turned out fabulous like way better than I was expecting it to. The first one had me a little bit worried. She was cute but it had me a little bit worried but this one it turned out even better and I'm excited to do different colors of the pots. I think that will really make it too and yeah I just think overall it turned out really good and I'm super happy with how it turned out. I'm actually going to be taking this Friday off yet again. I always try to take Fridays off whenever I can especially when I don't have markets and right now I don't. We don't have one for a couple weeks so I'm actually going to be heading out of town again but if you guys like this video please give a big thumbs up or don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Oh.